Hey guys, Silence CL here. Welcome back to another Utame Cross Gacha video. Finally, you know, it's been quite a few days since um, the brand new Gacha appeared for Mikumo. But it's okay, uh, there wasn't really a big rush to do the video because um, the Gacha itself really doesn't affect too much on the current event plus. Um, basically, after this is the Raid Boss event and usually there is a kind of a gap between the next gacha and the current one and and there was a brand new uh, mission set that actually launched together with the brand new event because of Valentine's Day uh, which technically is just two days away <laughs> so if you guys don't see me release a video in two days time happy Valentine's Day to all you guys and girls out there uh, if you guys don't celebrate White Day, I guess Valentine's Day is the only day, you know, you guys can celebrate your love with whoever that you're interested in or attached to. Anyway, um, yeah, so if you're wondering why this video took so long to appear, it's mainly because the last three days when I did my last announcement on Instagram saying that um, the contents that I'll release will be technically a bit slower because I've actually gotten myself a brand new full-time job so that's fantastic <laughs> um, considering that I'm not earning anything off YouTube yet so we are still working towards it so make sure you guys hit the like button subscribe especially um, so that you know eventually my YouTube channel can earn some kind of ad revenue to help support me um, and yeah, you know, considering that Utama Cross does take a whole chunk of my wallet <laughs> to do videos for you guys. Anyways, um, I felt sick the last few days uh, when I was supposed to record the video. Excuse me, my nose is actually leaking right now, so that's that's still in effect. Um, so yeah, um, my boss actually made me work in the rain. Um, because apparently the department I'm in is handling uh, quite a bit of physical work as well. Um, so yeah, apparently they didn't want to push it back and they made us work in the rain and uh, I kind of fell sick <laughs> doing it. So yeah, so finally I'm feeling slightly better. Yes, I'm still having the sniffles and all that. I've already gotten myself tested. For any pre-COVID symptoms, uh, so all's fine. Just need to rest up, take it a bit easier. Anyways, that is enough of about myself. Let's dive into the brand new mission set for Valentine's Day. Um, like my Instagram post said, um, there, there isn't actually any daily missions regarding this Valentine's mission. Um, but there are a few things that are kind of tricky and a bit sad for all those free-to-play players because as you can tell they actually feature three of the divas here but there's actually one more diva um, included in the missions that is not appearing here I guess because of image restraint you know image size there's not enough slots to throw in the last diva so let's dive into the valentine missions and let me explain to you guys what you actually need to do so the mission started two days ago on the 10th and of course it will conclude on the 23rd of February uh, midnight of Japan so hopefully you guys are able to clear all these missions these missions technically aren't that difficult but there is one factor that really really like I said affects the free to play players which is you need specific costumes for these three Vars and sadly to say one of the specific costumes it's a 7 star episode play costume. Alright, so let's dive into the ones that I've actually cleared here first. So as you can tell, these are pretty easy. They just require you to clear songs of a certain quantity. So the highest amount that I can see here is 50. Yeah, so play 50 songs. So if you've been busy playing the um, Kuji event, you should technically be able to clear this easily just like me all right so here on or forward uh, it's kind of tricky because like i said they require you to have a specific costume so let's start with the first diva which is freya yes freya is the diva that is not included in the mission um, icon 
<laughs> so that's kind of a bummer. But Freya is the one that really bumps everybody out, and that is you need Freya's seven star episode plate. Alright, so the first one, or rather all the missions with the regarding divas are all technically the same, so just pay attention to Freya's and technically it's about the same for uh, Reina, Mikumo and Minmei. Alright. Have Freya as your center diva and play Rune Pika. So basically if you've been playing the current event, you can use the current event song, which is technically Rune Pika. Um, and have her in the center and play you know, the song once. The second one requires you to have Freya equip a specific costume, which is the Eperu uh, Shokurate. So <laughs> basically it's her 7 star episode plate costume. So the last one basically is to have Freya equip the costume and play Rune Pika. So basically if you want to clear all three of this instantly, just have say I have Freya in the center position, equip the specific costume and play Rune Pika. And you will have all three missions cleared. Alright, so for this particular costume it is the 7 star episode plate costume so if you guys would go into the gacha page right now you will see that there is a returning banner to help those free to play players or those players who have yet to attain the costume yes this is the costume if you're wondering um, then let's take a look at the appearance rate so basically it's a step up gacha uh, step 1 is just a discounted pool with regular rates step 2 has the greater or guaranteed five star and above. Um, step three is a discounted with a regular rate. Step four, step five, um, is guaranteed five star and above. Yep. And then of course step six, you get that zero point nine percent chance of the six star play episode play ep appearing. I'm sorry, guys. My mind is still a bit wonky. So yeah. Anyways, this is the costume that you need to have Freya equipped in order to clear the mission. If you can't clear the mission with the costume requirement, which is the last two missions for Freya, at least you can still do the mission that just requires her in the center position to play Rune Pika and you should be fine. Moving along, so Ray Ray's costume, well technically um, you don't really have to worry about what costume it is. The image here shows what costume that each of the divas have to equip aside from uh, Freya. So just pay attention to these three costumes. As if you don't have it unlocked, make sure you have at least costume points for those costumes. And then you can use your episode orbs to unlock the costumes if you have not done so already. Um, and yeah, Mikumo's brand new costume is sadly to say one of the costumes as well. So we just really need the bare minimum. Anyways, moving along. So like I said, as long as you understand the mission style, the rest of the divas are technically the same. So Mikumo, Minmei, Reina, all require you to play one specific song, which is Onyanoko Girl, um, which can be found in the event tab of the regular life. So if you're in the regular version, make sure you tap this one and go into the event. And you can see Rune Pika is also here. Um, and of course, Onyanoko. So you, you have two variations of Rune Pika. One is the current event version. And of course, there's this event version. Um, which also gives you fantastic resources if you require them. So you can actually play <coughs> either version of Rune Pika. And the mission will clear. So Onyanoko Go is also here. Um, sadly to say, the rewards aren't exactly fantastic, maybe because it's. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, that's it for the Valentine's mission. Hopefully, you guys do your best to try and unlock the costumes required for the missions if you have not done so. Uh, I'm guessing that's one of the reasons why. They didn't give daily missions for it because it does come with a difficulty curve in a certain extent because you need to attain certain costumes. So luckily for myself, I've already attained this costume for Freya. So I'm able to clear the missions later on for myself. 
But for those of you who have yet to attain this episode play, I really pity you guys. Um, this kind of missions shouldn't be a thing, but you know, it's just a marketing ploy for Dana to try and you know leech your singing stones off you or even your physical cash. Alright, so let's move on to the actual thing for this video, which is Mikumo's brand new episode play. So let's take a look at the episode play itself. 3828 total score and a plus 25 luck value. So if you're wondering what is the value without the plus 25 luck is, it's actually at 3578, which is pretty good. So looking at Mikumo's episode plate, Mikumo's episode plate is actually the most powerful 6 star episode plate for this generation even beating the last few new episode plates, um, especially Rankas, which was the previous most powerful episode plate, uh, which comes in at 3,562. So you can tell it's technically a 16 point difference between Rankas episode plate and Mikumo's episode plate. So pretty decent jump. Alright, next thing, pay attention to the three other divas that can use the episode plate because you never know when you will need it. Um, stats wise, Soul it takes the gigantic leap forward, while Voice takes the mediocre amount, and of course Charm suffers greatly. Center skill, Soul up units, Soul is boosted by 90% up, which is a fantastic percentage. Uh, however, the active skill and the life skill might suffer greatly. So, active skill, yeah, it has that new episode plate center skill, um, which is not necessary if you have 7 star episode plates as usual. Um, there's no reason for you to use a 6 star episode plate anymore in the center position because 7, plates, seven star episode plates exist uh, unless you don't have any because you're a new player. Therefore, I think it's still okay as an episode plate, but like I said in the past, 6 star episode plates used to come with a 10 second duration and a 100% boost active skill so this is still pretty meh. <laughs> Anyways, life skill, it has a short duration ability so it comes with the brand new life skill that requires the affection level of your diva to be maxed out if you want to enjoy the 120% boost in score. So yeah, Mikumo, Kaname, Cheryl and Basara fans, if you have your favourite divas at max affection levels, I think this episode play is definitely a must get for you guys. Personally for myself, I'm just going to try and unlock uh, Kumo Kumo's costume just for the Valentine missions. And it's not necessary for me to gain this episode play. However, maybe I might change my mind. Um, sadly to say, nope, my mind is still stuck. It is not necessary for me to attain this episode plate because Mikumo is not my waifu and the episode plate is not usable by any of my favorite girls as well. So it's it's a miss for me. Uh, but you know, the, the luck for this month has been really strange. No luck at the 7 star pools, but sometimes the 6 star episode plates featured might get the luck. It seems to be that way for me for the last 6, no, 3 months. Uh, sorry guys, I'm leaking right now in my nose, so I'm trying to wipe away <laughs> while I'm making this video. Alright, so with that all said, hopefully you guys have good luck for yourself. I'm sure you guys have probably done your own personal pools already. Let me know in the comment section down below how did you do for your own personal pools. But for now, I'm gonna do my own pool and then we're doing this on the afternoon session. So let's do the single free pool first here. And see how the luck is for today. Uh. Oh, there's a load bar. Okay. No Valkyries, but there was a load bar though. Oh, okay. Staying silver? Yep, there we go. Okay, costume points. So, load bar is probably because. Yeah, there we go. Um, we don't have a lot of quantities for it and it evolved the um, costume point plate, so that's not too bad. Seems like the luck is pretty decent, considering we got something pretty rare. Alright, let's see. Uh, any plates expiring? 15? Yeah, I'm gonna pull a 10 plate here because I don't know when I'll be making the next video. Might be tomorrow, who knows. Uh, <laughs> but it's definitely the next feature. 
gacha for the Red Boss event. Hopefully you guys are ready for it. Oh, Valkyrie animations. Treat. Okay, so we are pretty mediocre luck today. Single red box on the first bling. Okay, so we are staying with the red box. Skipping all the common stuff. Alright, here we go. Nope, nothing fantastic. Even the red box episode plate is not that uncommon. Oh, I was wrong. <laughs> okay. So yeah, it seems like Dana has been really picking up his pace on, you know, focusing on 7 star episode plates. Especially with the Kiawa rank, where costumes get power ups and all that kind of stuff. Uh, this one's expiring on the 21st. Okay, I'm gonna keep it. Mm. Alright, so let's do this. We have a single free pool from the featured banner, as usual. Then we have the event gacha tickets as well. So that's not too bad. We at least get 21 plates from this banner. Ooh, ooh. Is this it? Is this the costume points that I need and I can avoid pulling this <laughs> gacha banner anymore? Okay. Alright, is it evolving? Apparently not. So it's still in the single digits, that's pretty fantastic. But why did it have a load bar in Valkyrie animations? Huh. Very strange. Okay, moving along. Let's do the event gacha tickets first. And let's see whether we can still save up some singing stones for the future gacha pools. Oh, decent load speeds. Here we go. One, two, three. So yeah, pretty mediocre luck today. Seems like the luck is pretty consistent as well. Okay, two red boxes. I just need to see costume points. Oh! Accidentally pressed too fast. There we go, the basic minimum requirement has been fulfilled. I can... Ooh, more costume points. That's good. At least I don't have to spend too much on the episode ops. If needed, but most probably will. Okay, oh, more costume points. Very, very generous in that general sense. Here we go, the last red box. So, no evolution. Okay, I don't see this episode play very often. Huh. Oh, it's new! No wonder I've not seen it very often. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it's not necessary for me to pull the discounted pool, but you know, just for show, why not? I mean, you guys have waited for this video for a while, so let's do this. <laughs> Gotta give you guys something to watch. Maybe we might pull out Mikumo's play, but who knows? It's it's really not necessary. Alright, the birds are chirping away. One, two, three. Four, five, we've golden up, so we got the max Valkyrie animation here. Single red box on the first bling. Seems like one of the red boxes is gonna evolve. Okay. Keeping the best for the last. No evolution on this one. Another rare plate that I don't see very often. Here we go, this one's gonna evolve. Is it Kumos? Nope, it's a very old episode play for Rei Rei. Ah oh, well. Okay, so we don't really have a lot of luck with the new plates recently. All the old plates have been appearing in all my gacha pools. Okay, okay. We get a few decent le um, power ups on certain episode plates. But still, it seems like, yeah, my luck for this account this time round has been focusing on all the old episode plates which really shouldn't be powering up. Anyway guys, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys understood everything with the Valentine's Day missions and um, hopefully you did, you know, get something nice from your own gacha pools. If you need help, don't hesitate, um, contact me on Instagram, here on YouTube on the videos. And let me know what troubles you or maybe something things you need help with and yes i've heard 
your cries, I definitely need to do a brand new update video on transferring your account and re retrieving your account for Uta Macross because it's pretty outdated. I've been planning to do it for like almost a year plus now but time restraints things didn't <laughs> occur um, so yeah anyways guys I'll see you guys in the next video I'm just gonna clear out my nose and all that and get more rest until then happy gaming guys bye